Hi, my name is Elizabeth Walker, and I will be talking about my internship with the Center for Marine Debris Research, where I learned micro FTIR spectroscopy techniques. The Center for Marine Debris Research is located at the HPU campus in Waimanalo. The focus of this lab's research is to investigate ocean-based plastic pollution. My mentors for this internship were Dr. Katie Shaw, who works at CMDR as a postdoctoral fellow with NIST, the National Institute of Science and Technology, and Dr. Olivia Nigro, who is the program director of the Masters of Marine Science program. There were a few goals for this internship with an overarching goal to prepare me for a project with the CMDR. The first goal was to be trained in micro FTIR spectroscopy techniques with the Nicolet IN10 infrared microscope. The second was to develop more op automated methods for microplastic analysis. And lastly, to begin analysis of particles from moisture tests of asphalt, which is the project I was preparing for. So what is micro FTIR spectroscopy? It's when a beam of infrared radiation is projected through a sample. Some of that radiation is absorbed by the sample and some goes through the sample. The result is a spectrum or a graph with a unique set of signatures or peaks. The spectrum are unique. They're like fingerprints or DNA of the sample. So we can compare the spectrum of an unknown sample to the spectrum of a known material to find the identity of our sample. Here's a spectrum of polypropylene, which is commonly what yogurt containers are made of. All of these peaks make up the fingerprint of this polypropylene sample. Here's an example of taking an unknown sample spectrum and comparing it to known spectrums. You can see where the signatures align. Below on the left shows the percent match of the sample spectrum to a spectrum of a known material in the library. You can see that the first match with the highest percent is high density polyethylene, and the spectra seem to align with each other. So I would say that this is high density polyethylene, or at least a polyethylene match. Now I'm going to get into how micro FTIR spectroscopy is being used for a project with the CMDR, the project I was preparing for. Here's a quick project overview of the project that I am preparing for with the Center for Marine Debris Research. We are collecting water samples from a machine that pushes and pulls water through asphalt samples. We then are filtering the water for particles between 30 and 300 microns in size. The particles are then taken from that filter and placed into a density separation device where the less dense particles, such as plastics, will float to the top chamber and particles that are more dense, such as rocks or gravel, will sink. The particles from the top chamber of the density separation device that has those less dense particles, such as plastics, which is what we're most inter interested in, are going to be filtered onto a gold filter. We're then going to analyze them on the Nicolet IN10 infrared microscope, where a mosaic image is taken of the filter which depicts all of the particles, and then a particle wizard, wizard is run, which is an application used in the software for this instrument. So the particle wizard is where the automation part of this internship comes into place. Once set, the particle wizard will take a single spectrum of each particle on the gold filter, and this could take hours depending on the number of particles on the filter. The software used in this, in this process will automatically compare each spectrum to a preset library with a variety of spectra and will automatically identify the particles based on comparisons to the library spectra. So the magic of automation is that rather than manually taking each spectrum of each particle, we can, after a few hours of waiting, get a complete report on the particles, on all of the particles, on all of their identities on their size as well. So next steps for this project, we need to use these methods to analyze water samples from not only mechanical lab-based tests, but we are also going to examine stormwater runoff from a pilot road that is paved in Eva Beach. And it's paved with a variety of asphalt mixtures, including a mixture that contains recycled plastic. 
So we also want to set up and test a new software program called Simple for Microplastic Analysis. This program is starting to be used in the microplastics community to perform a similar process as described in this presentation. We plan to compare particle composition reports from the Nicolet IN10 against the reports from the Simple software. We want to see if we are getting similar results between the two processes, or is the simple technology giving us um, more information about our samples? A little reflection on my time at CMDR. I successfully learned micro FTIR spectroscopy techniques that will support my research on a project examining particles from water samples taken from mechanical asphalt tests. I also gained technical skills that are valuable for working in research laboratories, and it's increased my marketability for positions post-graduation. I also developed my problem-solving skills related to learning and operating a new software program. Lastly, I gained teamwork experience in supporting research goals of the CMDR team. All right, thank you for listening to my presentation. I really enjoyed my time at CMDR. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you.